you feel like you are stuck going through the same motions day in day out without making any real progress towards your goals it is a frustrating and demotivating feeling but you don't have to stay there in fact sometimes getting out of a rut can be easier and quicker than you think it is easy to get caught up in the daily grind doing same things over and over again without really thinking about why we are doing them or if they are actually getting us closer to where we want to be we get comfortable in our routines and uh, the idea of change can be scary and overwhelming but here's the thing staying there in that rut is not going to get you any closer to where you want to be it is time to break free from those old habits and start making real progress towards your goals so in this video i'm going to share with you some powerful insights and strategies that will help you to do just that but before we continue with the video are you a subscriber if not please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever we post now let's continue with the video if you are ready to leave that road behind and start making progress towards your goal then this video is for you to help understand the meaning of being stuck say hi to my friend mike Mike has been the most hardworking guy amongst us, but lately he found himself stuck in a rut. His job is unfulfilling and he felt like he was going through same motions day in day out. He had lost his passions for hobbies and found himself withdrawing from us, his friends and even his families. Despite his efforts to shake things up, he couldn't seem to break free from his monotonous routine. Most of us are like this my imaginary friend Mike. We are already disconnected with the world around us and that poses us with the question, how do we connect back? With our loved ones and start loving life once again stay tuned because i want to share with you some powerful strategies that have helped me and countless of others to quickly break free and start making progress towards our goals but before we dive in into these strategies i want to talk about why we get stuck in the first place the two major reasons why we got stuck in a rut is lack of clear goals and fear of change first lack of clear goals when we don't have a clear idea of what we want to achieve or where we want to go in life we can easily fall into the routine that feels comfortable but doesn't lead to a meaningful progress. The other reason is fear of change. Even if we know we want to make a change, we may feel afraid of the unknown or uncertain about how to make it happen, which can cause us to stay in our current situation even if it's not fulfilling or satisfying. I know many of you resonate with this and probably be wondering how do I get out of this before it ruins my life. Well, the first thing I normally do is to set clear goals. When we find ourselves stuck in a rut, it can be difficult to know how to move forward. This is where setting clear goals can be incredibly helpful. When we take the time to define what we want to achieve, we can create a roadmap on how to get there. Clear goals should be specific, measurable and achievable. This means that we need to be clear about what we want to achieve and set a deadline for when to achieve it. For example, if we want to get out of debt, we can set a clear goal to pay off a certain amount of debt with a specific time frame. Setting clear goals can also help us stay motivated and focused. When we have a clear idea of what we want to achieve, we can take actions towards our goals and track our progress. It can be helpful to break larger goals into smaller more manageable steps so that we can celebrate our progress along the way. Finally, setting clear goals help us prioritize our time and energy. When we know what we want to achieve, we focus on activities that will help us reach our goals and avoid distractions that do not contribute to our objectives. By setting clear goals, we can take control of our lives and move towards the future we want. Secondly, I love trying out new things. When we find ourselves stuck in a rut, it can be easy to fall into the pattern of doing the same thing over and over again. Trying new things is a powerful way to break out of a cycle and discover new opportunities. We can start by exploring new hobbies or activities that we haven't tried before. This can be something as simple as a new restaurant or signing up for a yoga class. By stepping outside of our comfort zone and trying new things, we can gain new perspectives and experiences that can help us grow and expand our horizons. Trying new things can also help us discover new passions and interests. We may find that we have a talent or skill that we never knew existed or that we enjoy something that we never thought we would. By exploring new opportunities, we can tap into our creativity and curiosity and find new ways to enjoy life. Finally, trying new things can help us build confidence and resilience. When we take risks and try new things, we may face setbacks or failures but we can also gain the confidence to keep going and the resilience to overcome obstacles. By embracing new experiences and opportunities, we can break out of old patterns and discover new paths forward. And that brings us to our next topic which is to seek support. When we find ourselves stuck in a rut, it can be difficult to know how to move forward. Seeking support can be an incredibly effective way to get out of this cycle and move towards our goals. We can start by talking to friends and family members who can provide us with encouragement, advice and a fresh perspective. By sharing our struggles with others, we can gain new insights and ideas that can help us break out of old patterns and discover new opportunities. Seeking support can also involve reaching out to professionals 
or joining support group. There are many resources available such as therapies, coaches and online communities that can provide us with guidance and accountability. These resources can help us identify the root causes of our challenges, develop a plan of action and stay motivated along the way. By seeking support, we can tap into the wisdom and the experience of others and gain the tools we need to make lasting changes in our lives. Another important thing to mention is the importance of taking action. When we find ourselves stuck in a rut, it can be easy to fall into a pattern of inaction or indecision. Taking action is a powerful way to break out of this cycle and move towards our goals. We can start by setting specific achievable goals and breaking them down into smaller actionable steps. This can help us avoid feeling overwhelmed and give us clear roadmap to follow. Taking action can also involve adopting a new habits and behavior that can support our goals. For example, if we want to improve our physical health, we can start by incorporating exercise and healthy eating into our daily routine. By making small consistent changes over time, we can build momentum and create a lasting change in our lives. And that brings us to our next topic which is practicing self-care. When we find ourselves stuck in a rut, it can be easy to neglect our own well-being. Practicing self-care is an important step towards breaking out of this cycle and moving towards a brighter future. Self-care can involve a range of activities such as getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods and engaging in activities that bring us joy and realization. Practicing self-care can also involve taking care of our mental and emotional health. This can include seeking support from friends and professionals, practicing mindfulness and relaxation techniques, and engaging in activities that promote self-reflection and personal growth. By prioritizing our own well-being, we can build resilience and better manage the challenges that come our way, ultimately making us to break out of the rut and move forward with our lives. Many people who have been in horrible ruts have made it through by this following guide accordingly. You too can be one of them if you apply it today. Well, that's it for today folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're still here, then I bet you enjoy it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up for the algorithm and save it so that you can always review it when you need it. Thanks for watching and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.